What leads to death by suicide? There's no single cause for death by suicide. Death by suicide most often occurs when stressors and health issues converge to create an experience of hopelessness and despair. Depression is the most common condition associated with death by suicide, and it is often undiagnosed or untreated. Conditions like depression, anxiety, and substance problems, especially when unaddressed increase the risk for death by suicide. Yet, it's important to note that most people who actively manage their mental health conditions go on to engage in life. Suicide statistics. Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the US. Each year, 44,965 Americans die by suicide. For every death by suicide, 25 attempt. On average, there are 123 deaths by suicide per day. Warning signs in behavior. Behaviors that may signal risk, especially if related to a painful event, loss, or change, such as increased use of alcohol or drugs, looking for a way to end their lives, such as searching online for methods, withdrawing from activities, isolating from family and friends, sleeping too much or too little, visiting or calling people to say goodbye, giving away prized possessions, aggression, or fatigue. Warning signs and mood. People who are considering death by suicide often display one or more of the following moods. Depression, anxiety, losses of interest, irritability, humiliation, shame, agitation, anger, relief, sudden improvement. Death by suicide risk factors. Risk factors are characteristics or conditions that increase the chance that a person may try to take their life. Health factors include the following. Mental health conditions such as depression, substance use problems, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, personality traits of aggression, mood changes, and poor relationships, conduct disorder, and anxiety disorders serious physical health conditions, and traumatic brain injuries. Historical risk factors. Previous suicide attempts, family history of suicide, childhood abuse, neglect, or trauma. Fellow students in our district created a video to show all of you how much you mean to us and that there are people able to help you or a friend when you may need it. He's 14 years old and he had a sign of depression. It all kind of started when my mom died. That's when she started opening up to me that she was cutting herself. I started to hurt myself, I would cut myself. And he tried to commit suicide himself. And that, um, she just didn't know she wanted to live anymore. I've been low, I've been taking my time. I feel like I'm out of my mind. You feel like my life ain't mine. Who can relate? Woo! I think he doesn't want people to know about what he's struggling or what's going on with his life. I couldn't fathom how a person could be so okay at school and hold that in. Others would just tell me, you're fine, you're fine, you're going to be okay. I just actually really needed some help. If my friends didn't tell my counselor, I would be dead. You don't have to do it alone. It's never too late to ask for help. No judgment, no criticism, just an open space for you to be able to talk about whatever is going on.
Native Nation and I'm here to help. Come find us. Instead of them harming themselves, they could talk to their parents, a counselor. Talk to your friends, talk to your teachers. It'll help you more than you think it will. I see you. I see you each day that you're in my class. We all care about you. Um, that's why we do this. We're not just here to, to enforce rules and laws. We actually are, are here to care. We're compassionate people. So don't be scared to contact one of our police officers. We have a really awesome community on campus. And if you ever need help, please ask. And know that there is a rainbow at the end of the storm. What's the day with that little night? I'm just trying to share a little light. It can be hard. It can be so hard. Don't just keep it in and explore. I want you guys to ask help okay that's the only thing I want you guys to do ask for help it makes me really happy to know that she's okay so many people who are rooting for you and your success we, we care get help we care SAUSD cares chúng tôi quan tâm teachers care get help I care to get help. I care to get, get help. help. Everybody cares. Get help. I care get help, okay? Like now, please. This video, it really made me feel that there is a lot of support in our community, um, that there's everyone here in our district, in our schools, like they care about us, our teachers, um, at the people at the Santa Ana Unified School District, counselors. Depression isn't as rare as people think, everyone suffers. It's actually um, going up and not many people actually um, get the support they need. They never get the help and they cause harm to themselves. It made me feel like good because I would like I would see the examples of like what people have like gone through or could go through and that way like I'll be in in the need or any other staff to help that student that's going through tough and rough times. The video uh, made me aware of what's going on and that I should pay attention to small things that my friends might say because no matter how small it is, it might be really important to them and I should really uh, pay attention more to what, what's going on with my friends' lives. Uh, to me, being depressed um, feels like you, you, ha you don't have purpose in life anymore. You, um, you don't feel like waking up in the morning. Um, you don't feel like doing anything. For me, I, I personally never felt depressed. I usually just feel like down, away, and I always use my friends around me to help me bring myself up and family members. To feel depressed is like something consuming you. Loneliness, uh, feeling that you don't have no one in life, but it's not like that actually, because you have people that love you and will be there to help you. If my friend is depressed, I would want to like talk to them, know like what, what's wrong with them, how I can help them. And Make sure they get better. I would go up to her and tell her that if she's okay or what is wrong or if I could find her some help. If my friend was depressed, I would obviously reach out to him, let him know the consequences, let him know where he could find help. There's help all around him, he just needs to reach out. The help won't go to him. I think you can just talk to them, be by their side and make sure they're not alone and that there's other reasons, like there's other sources to help them. And you know, just try to be there and talk to them. If my friend was depressed, I would ask them what's wrong, try to help them cope with their stress, 
use laughter. It's always the best way to heal my friends. And just overall be positive and tell us to always help out there. I would tell them to hang out and I would tell them to like, get help by a counselor or any teacher or any coach or get help like from her parents or his friends. If my friend is ever depressed, I know that I could provide my support, be able to, I'll, I'll be able to tell them like, I'm here for you. Like if you ever need any help, like come talk to me. Um, if I know they're feeling down, I could like take them out to eat or like bring them something just to make them feel a little better. My coach Ortiz, she was, she's always been there for me whenever I ever had a problem. And also the teacher is here. I have people around my corner, especially my counselor, Delulu. She's helped me through a lot of struggles that I've had, and even Ms. Gibbs, that she's a higher ed coordinator, she's helped me as well. Teachers can help you, coaches, counselors from your school can help you. Um, I personally went through depression um, right after my birthday day, and my, my school counselor helped me, and it was really helpful, so don't be afraid to ask for help. What you can do, reach out. If you or someone you care about is struggling, reach out. You just might be saving a life. Ask. Often we are afraid to ask straight out, but talking openly helps. Listen, just be there. If you think your friend is in immediate danger, stay with them and get help. Tell. Even if sworn to secrecy, there is no betrayal on getting help. It is the safest option. You can also report anonymously. Who can you talk to? All school staff are here for you. Talk to teachers, school counselors, school psychologists, school liaisons, and school therapists after school staff and school nurses, principals and assistant principals, friends, parents, church, and hotlines. And remember Falcons, we care!